Hey guys, just check in on some of my plants in here. This is our square foot garden inside the actual greenhouse. Everything in here we're growing would go in a salad. So these nasturtiums over here, whole plant is edible. We've got tomatoes coming in back here. We've got some other little uh, broccoli. We got some bok choy, radish tops. This is musculin here. We got some spinach, some, uh, uh, what do we got back here? We got some Swiss chard back here. More little tomatoes coming in. Um, we got eggplant, parsley, sage. Got some tomatoes. Uh, we got carrots in here. Also got some arugula. That whole thing is planted with arugula. And uh, we like to put our strawberries on the edge like that so that they grow. And then the berries actually hang over here on the wood out of the dirt altogether. A uh, reason for this little video was to talk about seeds. We start out, we make our own dirt. We, uh, we mix our own soil here. We stamp it out with a little stamper there and it makes these little squares. And these little squares right here are what we plant our seeds in. And then uh, once, the, once the seeds start coming up, um, we put them in the ground. So what I've got here is I've got a whole bunch of different things. I put little tabs next to them, uh, right on it, so that I can tell what I've got. Like this is kale right here coming up. And I can tell when I planted it. This was one, two of 21. Um, and then you can, uh, you can kind of get a feel for what we're, uh, what we're growing from seeds that we've had for a while and what's coming up and what's not. If you look over here, you'll see that I've got something that didn't come up and that was cilantro. So what I've done is I've replanted those boxes that had cilantro in there with some lemon cucumber seeds. I can tell that because I wrote over the top of the other one on the time and the date that I put it in. And that was just a day or two ago. So I end up repurposing those and, uh, and growing over top of something that didn't do well. I've got some things that are coming in right here. These are sweet bell peppers. Some of them came in, some of them didn't. Um, I uh, attribute that to the seeds and how long we've had the seeds and what's happening with them. Um, some of my peanuts, as you can see right here, have come up and some of them haven't. I'm in the middle of uh, shooting here, cat. We've got three feral cats on the property that help us with the mouses and stuff. And so they kind of tool around the whole property because you never know when you have a little mouse hanging out so uh, so some of my stuff I could lose just because I've got a mouse just trampling it down but this one's pretty good this one's pretty good about just walking very gingerly across everything and not stepping in the beds but as you can see right here some of the peanuts are coming in and some of the peanuts aren't coming in and it a lot of it has to do just with uh, what kind of seeds I've got and and how viable those seeds are um, some of the stuff will do. Okay, okay. <laughs> oh, cat. Okay, go on, go on. Some of the stuff, as you can see, these beets right here, and um, the beets, this whole thing right here, this whole thing right there is just all beets. And all those beets are coming in real nice. Um, cat, cat, get out of here, go on. So those beets are coming in really nice, but I've got uh, some celery right here that just didn't work at all. And that was just an old celery packet that I had that, that just didn't come up. Um, my catnip is coming in nicely in all the rows, my marigolds, my spinach, my cucumbers. But then if you look at my asparagus over here, out of all those, only one, only one of those little uh, seedlings there got the asparagus. Now those asparagus I started from the seeds that an asparagus plant makes. Um, and I've never done that before, so it could be I just didn't know what I was doing with the seeds, or the seeds were just uh, as not as viable as I thought they would be. Isn't that right, dog? Mm -hmm. Yeah. This is Jack. Jack likes to come in and, and help me out in the garden. And then these are just a bunch of uh, this, that, and the other thing that I'm starting that needed to be in its own pot. And so we built some shelves here so that we could start some of the bigger planters and have those in here um, during the winter to keep them out of the cold. 
Uh, there's my, this. I'm actually just growing peanuts right out of a peanut bag. So if you ever wonder if raw unsalted peanuts will grow, the answer is yes. It's just not the fastest thing in the world to grow. But, um, but that's how we start our seeds and that's, that's good, bad and indifferent. That's just how it goes. Sometimes we, we end up with a lot of them that will, will start and sometimes depending on the age of the seed and, uh, and where it came from, sometimes you, you know, it's a little bit of a hit and miss. So, so it's always good to start them in your, uh, in your house or in your greenhouse or in the garage with, uh, with a grow lamp and get them started. And then once they start coming up, kind of go from there. Thanks for watching.